Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'd love for you to join the fam, so hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so that way you stay notified of when I upload. Today's video is going to be a review and demo of a product I came across on Instagram. It's called the Pocket Palette, and it's really, really cool. Um, let me give you some kind of a brief backstory. Linda, L-Y-N-D-A, she's the inventor of the Pocket Palette, and so that is a picture of her right there. Isn't that so cool? Like, who would have thought of that? Again, I found it on Instagram, and this girl, she started her pocket palette on Kickstarter, or Kickstarter, so she had to get a, like, crap ton of money, you know, how it goes on Kickstarter. So, you know, she was fortunate enough to meet her goal, and so she finally launched her product, I'm not sure how long ago. I'm really glad I ran into it because I just think it's such a neat idea. So it's little packets like this and they come in several shades because it's a BB cream, a lip and cheek um, product, and then your mascara which is black and it comes with the wand on the inside. She did give me a code and it is 10 FTC order. I'll leave it on the screen and then I'm also going to leave it down below. And she was so nice you guys. Okay, so when you get yours, it's going to come with like little confetti, little paper, and some little glitters here. I think that is such a cute touch. And she also get, um, she also wrote me like a little handwritten note, which is nice because, I don't know, I just feel like it feels more genuine when there's like a note in it. Oh my gosh, I'm like burning up right now, so sorry you guys. The BB cream comes in four shades. It's light, medium, tan, and I believe it's dark. There's only one lip color and um, the mascara is only gonna come in black. It's great for like on the go, so instead of having to pack like a, um, a foundation, a lipstick, and you know, mascara, and then trying to decide like which ones do I wanna take, it's just so easy to grab one of these and stick it in your purse and, you know, just do your makeup whenever you can. You know, it's so super easy. These products also do not claim to be long wearing or waterproof. Kind of a spoiler alert, I do love the lip formula. You can buy it in a 10 pack, a 3 pack, and a variety pack. And then you also get the single pocket palette for the curious, which that's what I ordered. There's also a silicone phone wallet and a pocket palette hat. So I'm on the website right now. I would probably get the variety because I mentioned in the video how I wish I had probably multiple shades. Um, and you'll see why. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with the demo. You're supposed to be able to do a full face of makeup. It includes a black mascara, a pink dual purpose lip and cheek color, and a BB cream or foundation. You can try it, the single pocket palette for the curious. And it's $4.49 and you get free shipping on uh, domestic orders, max two orders for free shipping. So I'll leave their website listed down below, but you can buy a little curious pack to see if you like these. These are really good if you're on the go or if you travel a whole lot. Shake out the contents like you're sprinkling magic. Use the hashtag pocket palette shakeup to share your goodie bag. The first envelope she sent me looked like this. I don't wanna show the front side because it has my address, but it did have a little bit of confetti in it. So we will see, oh my goodness. It has a bunch of goodies in here. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, she is so sweet. There's confetti bits and sequins. She gave me a lemon head. Oh my gosh, I've actually been craving these, so that's crazy. I do have a pencil. It says, getting my sh together and www.thepocketpalette.com. So it's a wooden pencil. That is so cute. A dum-dums. That's cute too. And, ooh, she sent me two. I was like, wait, hold on. Wait, no, she sent me three. Oh my gosh, she sent me three of them. <gasps> oh my gosh. It says, Sarah, so sorry your first order was damaged in transit. I've upgraded your order for free to apologize. Love, Linda. Thank you so much. I love the little goodies. You know, I have a sweet tooth right now, actually. I picked the shade, I think I got medium. Yeah, because I didn't want to get light and I didn't want to get tan. I'm going to use from the damaged packet. You could just like peel them apart, which is awesome. And then you tear it open. Ooh, wow. Okay, so this is a BB cream. It's fragrance free and oil free. Wow, that's kind of dark, which is okay because I'm like tan this time of year. That's the shade of it right there. 
it has a very thin consistency since it is a BB cream. I already put primer on my face, so I kind of cheated. So I'm going to use a sponge to apply. That's how I usually apply my um, foundations. Oh, wow. Okay, this is turning me pink. Way pink. I don't know. Maybe I might have to get like a... Um, mix a light and a medium and with it being a BB cream um, it is going to be a very 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 light coverage I wasn't expecting it to be full coverage either I feel like it oxidizes to like a little bit darker I think I don't know it just looks kind of weird I'm gonna actually try using a brush on the other side of my face oh my gosh this is so this is so pink I feel like I'm putting on blush. Maybe it's like adjusting, right? Isn't that what baby creams do? This side of my face is definitely a lot darker than this side of my face. I don't really use baby cream, so this is kind of like a, a first for me. I'd probably recommend using a brush or maybe your fingers because the sponge really absorbed a lot of the product. And the point is to be able to get a full face or just about a full face with you know, these little packets. With this brush, I'm able to, you know, salvage more of the product. It is spreading it a lot more, and of course it's not absorbing any product. So I'm able to get away with using a little bit. But with the brush, man, I still have some left over. I feel like I still look a little bit pink. I'm gonna let it sit, and we're gonna move on. But I wonder if you could do like, some light ones so that way you can use the light BB cream like under the eyes because I feel like I need to brighten or something. I don't know. And it's also hot in this room so I'm trying to drink a lot of water. The next little sachet is going to be the Lip and Cheek Color. This is a dual use for lip and cheek. Creamy, rich texture. Apply to lips and cheeks. Use fingertips to blend. But just for a quick swatch. Wow, that's like a mauve pink shade. I don't know if it'll fit. A lot of skin tones <laughs> we'll see I'm just gonna use my finger Ooh, wow wow okay um I don't know if she's developing like different lip shades but that would be really nice because this lip shade almost gives me like concealer lips like I really don't like a really pink pink and especially with this eye look I probably shouldn't have done it with this eye look <laughs> so it's not even gonna look right with this eye look I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> I was thinking this was gonna be more of like a rosy nude I'm scared to use it on my cheeks but oh well here we go okay I'm gonna use my brush <laughs> So the blush doesn't look bad. The BB cream doesn't feel sticky, but if you're wanting more of a matte look, then I would recommend setting with powder. Okay, last but not least is gonna be the mascara. So I did curl my lashes a little bit. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so y'all can see this up close. That looks like a very like whipped formula. I kind of like it. All right, here we go. So the wand is tiny, which I don't know if most of you will see that as good or bad. I don't know. I'm indifferent. I don't mind a small wand because there are times where I wish some of my favorite mascaras had a smaller wand like this to kind of reach in the inner corners. And then it's good for people who have small eyes. It doesn't claim to be waterproof or anything, so that's just something to be aware of. Maybe that's another idea she can do in the future. What do you guys think? It's not bad, right? I do think that maybe the more you add, if you are the multiple mascara layers type of person, just be careful because this seems like it might start clumping up. Not bad for the lower lash line. Dang. I kind of like this better for the lower lashes. I'm going to try... I'm gonna try to layer it, see what happens. I am kind of a fan of spidery lashes, so don't judge me. Okay, second layer is going on okay. Just, they look a little thicker. All right, so I zoomed you guys back out. 10 FTC order. 
okay? That's gonna give you 10% off your next order. I'm also gonna leave it down below. I will say maybe she could do different uh, lip cheek shade as far as the BB cream goes it leaned more t on the pink side I didn't set anything and it looks kind of like a like a satin like healthy finish It's not really glowy and it's not super matte. It's like a demi matte The lip is really nice and comfortable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video Give it a thumbs up and have a blessed day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye